Right, so National Hill Climb Champs was on the weekend, or today actually. Uh, we're going to go through the women's first, then we'll go through the men's. The men's, obviously, you can see, is pretty close. The women's was, as I predicted, not close at all. Illy Garnett bad everyone by over a minute. Um, we got a power file up here, 270 normalised. I think it's a little bit higher, actually. Oh, no, 270 normalised. Um, I think it's like around 50 kilos. This is apparently what, what I've seen on Strava, but I don't actually know. But around 5 and a bit was per kilo, which is pretty strong. Uh, been to a lot of men as well um, with 1503. I don't know exactly where she would have come in the men's, but I reckon top 80 or 70, something like that. Um, so, yeah, pretty strong performance. In terms of pacing strategy, again, like pretty easy on the fast parts, obviously. Went off actually pretty pretty thermo. Um, and then, yeah, like how much you say at the end? Not a crazy amount, 280, a little bit higher, but, you know, not the most cautious pacing strategy. Went out at 280 and then this middle bit probably like not massive, massive watts. Obviously, it's not steep, but it is a hard one to pace. And we're going to go into pacing more because Feather and Labrack uh, is pretty interesting to see. But yeah. Lizzie Brooke, obviously strong, and like Francis Owen, who I said was all right. They, they're all close-ish to each other. Like, actually, they're all pretty close. And then Ellie Gardner, just thermo, um, super freak. So we're going to go on to the next category of super freaks, which is uh, in the men's. So I said, that apparently, Paddy may not have got third, but I'm pretty sure he should have done, surely. Um, I don't really understand that, that well. Um, but apparently there's also a junior uh, who was on the same time as well. Uh, so if we look on the juniors, they were pretty quick as well, 13.05, so hard to, hard to know exactly who will get third, but anyway, it was about what I kind of expected in, in the men's, like, uh, you had those two who are close, and then everyone else is just not nowhere near close, um, so anyway, we're kind of going to look at Laverick and Feather and see how they rode this climb, because I, I did say Feather would win, and there are a couple of reasons why, so anyway, we'll look at Look at Laverick's ride first. Now, he, there's a lot of chat on this thing. But anyway, he said he's got 440 watts for the main part of the climb. Expected to win. Um, He's obviously just thought, you know, Thermo, no one can beat me. So he must be 59, which means his weight's correct. I reckon his power meter might be fried, Um, is my conclusion. Because his watts aren't that mega. And he does get bad. Well, they obviously are mega. But they're not that much. They They say they're too much compared to what they should be. So if we look at this first part here... The first nine minutes, he did 437 watts, um, which is 7.4. And then if we look at Feather for, like, basically the same period, which is here, you can see Feather did, like, 7.2 and went went quicker. So that is kind of confusing. Um, Again, I, I think it's just because maybe his power meter doesn't read. You might say, oh, Feather's doing more watts. He's only doing 10 more watts, though. It's not that much. I reckon this num number meter might be slightly wrong, to be honest. Um, And then at the end, this is really where... Feather and uh, Laverick, the, the real difference came in because Feather did four, uh, sorry, Laverick did 485, which is a lot of watts, like, you know, that is just a lot. And Feather went just from Thermo 544 for two minutes. Last minute was almost close to 600 watts, which is bananas. If we look on the comparison thing, so they start off obviously pretty close. Laverick falls down 10 seconds on the kind of false flat, well, it was not really false flat, it's just not as steep part. Um, they get close to five seconds. Obviously, Feather was holding something in the bank because as soon as they go into the steep section, which is about this part here, just chow, chow, 17 second difference. Like, just so like, ha who, uh, what's it called? Hemorrhaging time. And maybe that's why Ed thought, oh, I would win because he went so hard in the beginning part. But ultimately, 4 485 is just a lot. Like, but Feather just goes, is just on a different planet on those efforts. And I guess the thing was, everyone thought maybe he can't recover. But realistically, he actually did like 300 watts for 44 seconds. And we know his threshold is 380 because that's what he did up Mont Blanc too. So 300 really isn't that hard. He like stopped pedaling and then that clearly just got the anaerobic tank back to an outrageous level. And then just cracked out 546 for two minutes. And you were just like, well, you know, for most people, that would be a good hill climb uh, just on its own, the two minutes. But obviously, better that comes after all the rest of it. Um, so yeah, like he paced it. You know, if we look on this, the first steep section, 481 watts. So pretty hard, but not like crazy. Ed did 4.53, um, and they're kind of going 10 seconds quicker. Um, so, you know, Andrew was just ahead the whole time. The only bit they were kind of similar, I guess, is this part here, um, where both of them are doing, you know, 10 watts higher, 10 watts lower, and they're kind of going similar speeds. But I guess it's just like, even then, Ed's still going a little bit slower. So 
all in all, it's kind of like a pacing strategy. No one really seemed to blow up. It's just like Feather just has that thermo launch at the end that Ed couldn't crack out. But I don't really know what Ed could have done, to be honest. He just maybe need to go harder at the beginning. Because, like, I don't know, that, that seems like the way his power curve would be. You're like, okay, well, but he's not going to be able to do 550 for two minutes. Cause, so the only way really is you just have to go harder maybe on this first part here, like here. He just needs to, the only way he's going to win is if he does like 450, 460 here and then just has to have a gap going into this final two minutes because you just know you're going to get the mode and that's that's the only way you can really say it. Again, two minutes, 550, last two minutes of the race, 2,400 bam. I mean, that's just... Um, so anyway, I hope you did enjoy this quick video. Um, cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.